I love survival mode, but if you've completed all of them multiple times, it can get very tedious and I dare to say boring. But as you can see from this video, we would, I don't know, we couldn't find anybody to join us and we decided to try this two man. It was very easy, so I'll spend this time, you guys can check out the video, and um, in the meantime, I'll tell you a few tips for survival mode. The main thing you want to do is find a good spot to camp out. Uh, if all you guys are spread out on the map, the problem with that is, one, you won't be able to funnel all the guys into one area. You know, the, uh, the AI on this game is pretty bad. It's not horrible, but it's pretty bad. So if you guys are all in one spot, they're all all of the enemies are just going to funnel into the same one or two areas. So you guys just can, you know, watch those particular paths each time. But uh, when you choose an area, the best area is to find something that has cover overhead. Why? Well, it's... The time goes on, the waves goes on. Those damn helicopters can be a bitch at times. You know, if they fly over and they start picking you off, you know, people will start dropping off pretty quick. So, some maps, you know, the best places you can't really find uh, cover overhead or, you know, the, the pathing just kind of screws up for all the different um, players or enemies. So, you know, you just have to be quick to take out the uh, helicopters if you can assign somebody to, to do that. That's even better. Uh, make sure you go in there with, um, with some snacks. That way if you, you know, take damage on accident, you can uh, heal yourself up real quick. You know, that's pretty standard, pretty basic. You know, uh, between rounds, you want to definitely get as much ammo as you can. Uh, I would say that I don't know it's just very annoying because when the first uh, when the game first came out you could stock up on ammo in in survival mode I mean we stayed in survival mode then we go to free mode and just wreck havoc but now uh, if you have a certain amount of ammo on you you won't be able to pick up any ammo so you can't just use survival mode to get free ammo which is kind of annoying but anyway uh, you want to make sure that you know where the armor is if you can't get to it fast enough uh, just screw it and get back to your, your safe spot it's sometimes you know if you wait too long somebody will spawn right next to you and either kill you or take that armor away that you just worked so hard to get so it's not even worth risking your life to, to get it um, you know just basic stuff have half the team look one direction, other team look the other direction, or cover the other area. You know, just just basic stuff like that. But I don't know, survival mode is pretty damn easy, as long as you're not in there with a bunch of idiots. Dare to say, you know, this this channel is really small so far. But uh, just in case Rockstar just ever just glanced around and and checked out this channel, if you want to make survival mode way more difficult one give the guys grenades <laughs> that would start smoking us out and or just eating us out of our camping spots real quick next thing would be to uh, have snipers uh, posted up on the outside of the map every now and then that would definitely suck Rock, give them rocket launchers I mean you're already giving them mini guns but you know just maybe just uh, make them more random they're, they're very um, predictable right now but I'm sure all that stuff will take uh, way too much overhauling of the, uh, the overall game so I doubt they would make any changes like that but for the most part um, early on in the survival try to conserve your ammo especially if you're kinda new in the game you don't have ridiculous amounts of weapons and stuff you know just take the guys out with the pistols you know AP pistol is still OP so <laughs> you could use that for uh, five six waves you know but if you just have a pistol just use that the guys go down with like one or two shots so what's the point of wasting your um, assault rifle you know? you know you might as well just use the little stuff uh, you know take out the, the trucks ASAP Sign somebody to do that, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's nothing else that's 
that's just so difficult about survival where you gotta oh man you gotta do this to a T when you get to wave six you gotta do this and wave seven now you gotta change it up you gotta no you can pretty much take the same strategy throughout all the waves you know you know, just have to make sure that you that you're ready for those helicopters I think that's the only thing that's really screwed us up. And don't get um don't be surprised if you know once you get to about like wave eight, wave nine, somewhere around there, they will rush you, you know, so if you're not prepared for that, that can kill you too, you know. Uh don't definitely be patient. You wanna be patient and survival. If you're watching the video still, <laughs> you'll notice that, you know, sometimes we'll just sit there. It could be very boring to watch, but if you start running around and being a hero, then the likelihood of you dying like a hero increases times 10. So, you know, just be patient. Let them come to you. Funnel them in. And it gets it's just easy. So... That said, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video, Two Man Survival. The next few videos will include deathmatch tips, how to survive on the streets, and another little special treat for uh, the Wolf Among Us fans. I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of the episode, but it won't be me. It will actually be someone else that I'll be watching play. More details will follow. <laughs> Stay tuned. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
piece of shit. Motherfucker!
Not... 